let's build a very simple soda can today you can download all these models by going to through 3d.me and then you can see all the latest models in the home page or you can go to download and then uh, select based on the category simple intermediate and then advanced so if you click on any of these you can download blender file or fbx file or even you can see how did we make it let's search for a soda can a nice shaped soda can so i'm, I'm going to select this now we, let's import that uh, image so let's go file import import image as a plane but if you don't see this option here what you need to do is go to edit references add-ons search for image import image as planes enable that add-on go to top view and shift right click and then let's go to side view uh, maybe one and then shift right click somewhere here so that you insert your plane over there now go to file import import image as planes now go to desktop and then select your can import image as a plane now you import that image but you still don't see that image so that's because you are in solid uh, viewport shading mode so i just need to select um, material preview now let's scale this one so that you can see that one clearly and then if you come over here and then go to side view you can you know look at the uh you can use your image as a reference to build this um, soda can all right now select this cube press x to delete and then click on delete now place your cursor here in the center if it is not in the center shift s cursor to world origin now your cursor is in the world origin now go to add mess um let's select cylinder now go to side view select the cylinder and then tab to go to edit mode and then press s shift z to scale only along x and y not along z okay now grab y slightly okay tap out of the edit mode enable x-ray go to solid view and then click on this area and then select texture drop down button and then texture now you can see and then also see through select that object tab to get into edit mode now let's get into the uh, vertex mode select the top set of vertices and then grab z slightly down now extrude e and then extrude somewhere here now scale scale it down now extrude slightly again extrude that should do it now select this vertices you know grab along z axis somewhere here and then now extrude scale slightly now extrude again and then scale That should do it now go to face select mode click on the top face and then press i to insert and now extrude e slightly inward 
extrude right click scale now extrude again up now inset get into very middle that should do it now same thing for the bottom face inset and then again inset get into very middle all right that seems okay let's go back to object mode now you feel like it's like a really um you know a very low poly to resolve that click on this go to object shade smooth now still you see some you know roughness here what do you need to do here is you need to go to this uh you know range for the spanner the modifier tab or add a modifier subdivision surface modifier or you can press ctrl and 2 to add two levels of uh, subdivision surface modifier so if you want to come over here and do the same thing you can do that one you know subdivision surface modifier 2 same thing now your shape becomes you know slightly deformed what you need to do is you need to add some supporting loops so that you get the you know shape back let's enable our x-ray mode go to side view and then select the edge mode click on this edge loop cut and then come over here and then add the loop cut to get it to the right shape again If you disable this uh, X-ray mode, you can clearly see that. Now, I just don't want that one. Control Z. Let's add that one again so that you can see. Okay, now get back to selection mode. Now tab out of the edit mode. Now you can see a very clear can with two levels of subdivision modifier surface modifier let's modify the bottom slightly select the face selection mode press 9 in your keyboard bottom view now C from your keyboard to circle select scroll your mouse to increase or decrease the selection radius and then click then hit enter now you select that one the faces now extrude up slightly this will add some kind of like a curvature to your can the bottom of the can now the top part is seems okay what I need to do is I need to build this uh, ring that goes around the the the, the, uh, the top part of the can select the can tab into edit mode in the face mode click on this one if you click on this edge while holding down alt key you select the entire face loop now alt e extrude faces along normals now if you move your mouse you can you know move that faces outward so that you build that range right let's assign some colors to this one materials let's go to select this under edit mode so the red is all over here but not in the bottom part and the top part so what i need to do is go to side view enable x-ray those faces right now i just want to add this set of faces as well shift alt click on this line so you select them and then add it to the selection disable the x-ray mode and then look around to see if you select everything seems okay 
Now go to material tab, add new, assign a new material, select red. Maybe we can pick from here, probably. It's not that good, right? Let's assign our own color. Red. Okay, that should do it. And now come over here, select, invert, and then assign a new material slot, click on plus, and then assign that one to that uh, selected faces, click on new, select somewhere here, maybe silver color. And then over here, once you select the color, come to metallic part and then make it to one. Then roughness, reduce that one up to maybe 0.2. Let's type it, 0.2. Now, if you tab out of this edit mode, you don't see that, um, you know, material yet. So until you select the, the material preview report shading. Now you have a metal part here and also the top part, but this one still not, you know, look like a metal let's get back to that and then go to select that material go to metallic part make it way metallic and also roughness let's reduce that roughness value to maybe 0.3 now tab out of edit mode now you can see you have a nice can but still you don't have that opener but we will build that one in a new tutorial but for, but you can have this you know logo or whatever the brand name stick to your can or uh, we will do that one in the second tutorial as well so that is a, a kind of a, like a texture mapping all right so that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh thanks for watching we will meet with another tutorial next day